With the end of 30 years of conflict in Sri Lanka in May 2009, life in the North and East is gradually returning to normal. People are beginning to reap the benefits of peace and signs of progress are clearly visible in towns and villages. Over the past few years, reconstruction efforts have been progressing steadily with the local and international organizations supporting communities to rebuild their villages. From 2013 to 2017, the United Nations Human Settlements Program, UN Habitat, partnered with the Government of Japan and the Government of Sri Lanka to support conflict-affected communities to rebuild infrastructure facilities in the north and east of Sri Lanka. This district uh, had been uh, experiencing the conflict for more than 30 years. So du during that period also the infrastructures had not been uh, looked after. It was neglected for so long period. So that's also the consequences of the uh, conflict and we had to provide uh, the infrastructure facilities to the community. The government of Japan provided a grant of 11.5 million US dollars through UN Habitat to reconstruct community infrastructure in the districts of Mana, Kilinochi, Mulathivu and Batiklo. Japan and Sri Lanka has always had very good relations and we have been supporting the development of Sri Lanka for many years, uh, for the infrastructure, for the rehabilitation of the conflict affected area. Uh, we have uh, spent more than 10 billion US dollars to uh, support Sri Lanka. From 2013, over a period of five years, UN Habitat worked closely with the government of Sri Lanka to implement this program. The program followed UN Habitat's people's participation process of construction. This method gave community members an opportunity to actively engage in all project activities. It also helped to foster a sense of ownership in the community assets. <laughs> The community members had the freedom to decide on the priority infrastructure interventions for their villages by participating in community action planning workshops. Construction work was undertaken by village-level community-based organizations in each project location. Women and youth were active participants in the program, with women's rural development societies implementing projects in their villages. This is one of the preschools constructed by the program. A large number of preschool buildings were damaged during the conflict. As a result, preschools were housed in temporary structures with minimal facilities for children and teachers. This program supported communities to construct 53 preschools, providing facilities for early childhood education to children in the northern province. In many villages, communities selected internal access roads as their priority infrastructure intervention. These roads were reconstructed to the standards set by the local government authority, which included raising the road surface above annual flood levels and resurfacing with gravel. The construction of drainage and irrigation systems was important for water management in villages, for both agriculture and disaster risk reduction. From 2013, this program has assisted in the construction of 74 community centres. An important aspect of the community centre design is the inclusion of office space for local government officials. In the design, draft design, community uh, inputs uh, were taken, that uh, the, the old uh, inputs uh, they have preferred. For rice farmers, storage facilities are vital to store their harvest. The lack of proper storage facilities can result in poor food security, forcing farmers to sell their harvest at low prices. The program supported the construction of 13 community storage facilities. 
விவசாயிகள் பட்ட கஷ்டம் தாங்கொண்ணாது ஆனால் இப்பொழுது விவசாயிகள் தங்களை மிச்சம் படுத்துவதற்காக அனைத்து வழிகளையும் துறந்து விட்டுகிறார்கள் யூஎன் கேபிட்டால் நிறுவனம் program enhanced women's economic empowerment by forming savings groups in villages the main aim of these savings groups was to reduce poverty improve economic conditions and empower beneficiaries to take control of their lives it also helped vulnerable women to save money within their community adhe adhe thangalukku evala katta mudiyumo andala ketta mari eduthu 5000 10000 7000 endru adhe thangalukku thagudhi ketta mari eduthathu சில பேர் கோழி வளர்த்தது ஒரு ஆள் மாடு வாங்கினவா ரெண்டு பேர் கோழி வளர்த்தது அப்படி எல்லாரும் தங்களுக்கு தங்களுக்கு ஏற்ற மாதிரி எடுத்து அதனால ஒரு அளவுக்கு முன்னேறி இருக்கிறேன் த கான்ஃப்ளிக்ட் ஹட் ப்ரோட் நெகட்டிவ் இம்பாக்ட்ஸ் ஆன் தி என்வையர்மென்ட் லீடிங் டு தி டிப்ளீஷன் ஆஃப் ஃபாரஸ்ட் கவர் வித் தி எய்ம் ஆஃப் ரீ கிரீனிங் வில்லேजेस யுஎன் ஹேபிடட் இனிஷியேட்டட் எ பிளான்ட் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் புரோகிராம் டு என்கரேஜ் ட்ரீ பிளான்டிங் அமங்ஸ்ட் கம்யூனிட்டிஸ் More than 140,000 saplings were planted in project locations. These included species of timber and fruit trees. Today these school children have the ability to study comfortably, unlike in the past where trees and temporary shelters formed their classrooms. Vannar maavattathil kaanapatta eeniya paadasaaligalodu oppidumbodu மிக அடிப்படை வசதிகள் எதுவும் என்ற பாடசாலையாக முதல் தர தேர்விலேயே மத பாடசாலை இந்த உதவிக்காக பரிந்துரை செய்யப்பட்டிருந்தது This program supported the construction of 15 classroom buildings together with other facilities including kitchens, canteens, administration buildings and toilet facilities in Mana district. The project also facilitated the construction of seven teachers quarters that has provided teachers with much needed residential facilities. Kuripaga in the paadasaalaiyal therivu seiyappatta paadasaalaiyal yuttathinal muttaga paadikkappattu makkal andha idangalai vittu veliyeri eeni idangalile thangi irundhu meelakudiyamattappattavargal. As water is a scarce resource in many parts of the north and east. Rainwater harvesting systems were installed in over 100 public buildings by the program. This has given people a regular source of water, especially during periods of drought. UN Habitat provided technical guidance and supervision for all activities, including designs, bills of quantities, advice on building materials and cost-efficient technologies. So we are conducting the training for them to improve their capacity. so not only technical training bookkeeping training on the safety during the constructions those kind of training at the beginning we are given to the cbos and local vendors cost effective eco friendly building materials and technologies were used wherever possible disaster risk reduction measures were incorporated into the construction of all buildings we designed in a way the alternative water supply system and also in addition to that rainwater harvesting system two compartment of septic tank which uh, reduce groundwater pollution tree planting the our structures uh, frame structures which are the drr messes already incorporated in our whole designs within a period of 5 years this program has supported communities in the north and east to rebuild vital community infrastructure facilities in over 250 villages The community assets constructed through this program have benefited over 360,000 people in 16 divisional secretariat divisions in four districts. The determination, courage and community spirit of the people of the North and East was a key factor in making this program a success.